Okay, this will be a line following project. This is the page we'll be using. At the top right, click fork to copy it to your account. Once it's copied, go to your Visual Studio Code, View, Command Palette, Git Clone from GitHub. You would see a entry for project line following. Select a directory to house the files. Once it's done cloning, add to workspace, open SRC and main. So in this project, it will be a combination of the me encoder on board and the me line follower. So if you haven't covered those, do check out those individual videos focusing on those uh, sensors. At the bottom, click to select the project, project line following, and click the upload. So looking at the loop, it will look similar to the line follower code as well as the encoder code. So depending on what the line following sensor see, then it will be either moving forward, left or right. Okay, if you see this error, we have to specify the upload port using the INI file. Then click upload again. Okay, when it's done uploading and program is successful, the wheels will be turning. So let's open a serial monitor to see the output. Enter the port index. So if it's inside the black line, it means it will go forward. But if it sense that the black line is only on one side, then the car will turn. So in this case, the car is turning left. So the left wheel is moving forward, the right wheel is moving backwards. If the line is detected on the left of the car, then the car will turn right by moving the right wheel forward and the left wheel backwards. So this is turning to the right to make the black line to the center again. Once it's in the center, then the car will move forward. If the line is detected out of the sensor, then the car will stop because it doesn't know where to go. Okay, so that's a, a project that uses the line follower sensor as well as the 
encubre los motos.